There are three levels of the Labacus Innovator labeling software, standard, advanced and professional. This introduction is for the advanced version. See the introduction videos for the other versions on the video tab for that product. To create a job in the Labacus Innovator software, click on File, New Job. The Templates browser will appear, which gives you all of the different software templates for the labels that we offer. We'll select Cables and Cores. Further template options are available for the different labels in this category. We'll select Wraparound. The list will display the application, order code and a brief description of the label. You can sort the list by clicking on the column headings. We'll choose our label and click on Next. You can enter a brief description for your job, which will print on many of our sheet labels. Once you have entered your description, click on Next. Next we have the text alignment and field split. Here you can select the alignment for your text, left aligned, centre aligned or right aligned. The default is centre aligned. In the field split area you can split the labelling field itself. These are the light blue areas displayed on the screen. Options are no split, which is the full field, two columns, three columns, two rows, three rows or you can use other for more split options. We'll select the default full field and click on next. The build editor will appear. You can have up to 12 segments in the advanced and professional versions. The default is two segments and we'll stick with that and click on OK. There are many ways to enter information into the build editor and I will show a brief example of each method. These methods are covered in more detail in other tutorials. You can manually enter information in the text area of the segment such as this very simple example. I'll go back into the build editor by clicking the icon on the menu bar then I will clear the information in the segment. Another way of entering information is with the sequence tool. You can generate any numeric or alpha sequence such as 1 to 100 or even A to Z. In this example I will add a dash A to the other segment and click on finish. You can copy and paste information from any Windows application directly into a segment in the build editor. I'll go back to the build editor, clear the job and then paste a list of information that I have previously copied from an Excel spreadsheet into one of the single segments. This is my Excel spreadsheet with the information that I want to use for my labeling scheme. Highlight the relevant information and copy, then paste directly into the segment. I click on finish and there's our job all ready for printing. I will now show you how to import information directly into a segment from a spreadsheet saved in CSV comma delimited format. So I'll go back into the build editor I'll just clear the information I already have by clicking on the segments, select all, then segments, delete. I click back in segments, but this time I'll select import. This will open a browse dialog box where you can browse to the locations of files saved on your PC, various places. Click on your spreadsheet and then click open. You are then presented with a list of columns contained in the spreadsheet that you can merge into a single segment. I can now select the relevant spreadsheet columns that I require for my job and then click OK. As you can see, the software has now merged all of the columns into a single list into the segment. You may just need to remove the header details by highlighting and deleting them. And now we click on Finish and here's our job all ready for printing. The software will automatically select the recommended size for font for you. You can change the font size and style by turning off the size to fit then clicking on the font button in the menu bar. This will open the standard Windows font dialog box which displays all of the Windows true type fonts that are installed on your PC. Select a suitable font and size then click on OK. Included in the software is a powerful help module. Just press the F1 key on your keyboard at any stage. The help is context sensitive, which means that no matter where you are in the software, it will display the relevant help topic for the screen that you are on. The help module is covered in more detail in another video. For samples and for more information, please contact us direct or one of our local distributors. Further details can be found on our website.